Hey, what's up YouTube? Top Pick Kicks here, and today my top pick is a shock drop package that a friend of mine got in. Now, I did not hit on the shock drop, but he did, and I'm fortunate enough to let him, he actually came over and let me borrow the shoes to unbox them for y'all on the channel. So that being said, you, you can see right here, it's straight from Nike, has not been opened yet. Uh, but let's take a look at it and see what we got. All right, so let's go ahead and open these bad boys up. So we're going to cut into it here from the side. Here from this side here. Oh, and by the way, I got the Jordan 4 Fire Reds on for the day. Just going to show y'all that. Those come out tomorrow. Be on the lookout. Hope y'all hit if y'all want them. But now we're cutting right into this box. All right, and let's see what we got inside. Y'all ready for this? And bam, look at that box. You've got the Jordan 25th anniversary Jubilees right here. Man, right off the bat, I love this box. Super nice box, super nice details. You've got the silver jump man. This is a different kind of box too than what I've seen on any of the other Nikes. Uh, the Christmas edition Nikes. You do got all your Jordan branded on the bottom down here. But then getting into the size tag, let's take a look at this together. You do have an Air Jordan 11 Retro. Colorway is black. What does that say? Uh, black. Hold on a second. Black multicolor. That's why I couldn't read it. It just says black and multicolor. Size 11. Retail is 200. I think these are currently going on StockX for about $320. So already a shoe that you want in the collection if you don't have it already. But really, really a nice box for a Jordan 11. <coughs> Balls. <coughs> My nose. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox these bad boys. Check them out. See what they look like. So I have never, typically a Nike box, you open it down from under, or either you slide it out, but this box is completely different. Um, it looks like you, yeah, you pull out here. Look at this, this is awesome. Yeah, this is completely different for Nike. I have not opened up a Nike box like this before. And then your shoe paper, I don't know if you guys can see the shoe paper here, but you have the Jumpman 1995 through 2020. The 25th anniversary edition so this is nice shoe paper right here you do have your quality control sticker on the inside I don't know if you guys can see that but make sure if you're ordering you want to you want to see that quality control on the inside and let's go ahead and take a look at it ready in three two one bam there they are the jordan 11 jubilee 25th anniversary and i gotta say guys right off the bat these things are beautiful I mean, <laughs> they're immaculate, guys. Look at that. Look at that jump man in silver. Look at the chrome on the back, the 2-3 in chrome. The milky uh, outsole here. Wow, these things are really nice. But let's get them all the way out of the bottom one. All right, so let's start with the outsole here on the bottom. You do have this milky white outsole. Uh, you got your herringbone traction pods. All of this is zoom air underneath here. You do have a nice carbon fiber shank plate that runs up your 11s, just like all your standard Jordan 11s, but this gives you stability in your midfoot, and these represent your two zoom pods, okay? So nice outsole. I like the milky colorway of this. Um, and then getting into the midsole, you do have just your standard white midsole running around the outside. Uh, and then up to the mid. So you, right here, right off the bat, what I can tell you is this is the OG patent leather. It is not the low patent leather. It's the same patent leather that they use on the 2019 breads uh, because it's high cut up the shoe. It's not low. And what I also like about it, I don't know if you can see this or not, but right here, you've got the widow's peaks. And then right here, you've got a widow's peak. And what that tells me is that they use the old school styling on the patent leather as well. Nike, a few years back, like on the Space Jams and things like that, did not include these widow's peaks in the patent leather. But on the newer styles, on the Jordan, uh, you know, the ones that come out last year and these, obviously, they do have that. But let's look at quality control real quick. I'm seeing no issues all the way around this shoe with the stitching. The stitching looks great. 
And look how thick cut that patent leather is too. You can see the white outline. And I actually like that. It kind of, if you're looking down at the shoe, you can see the outline of the patent leather running around it. So very nice touch on the cut on the patent leather. Uh, so th I think they did a great job there. Now let's get into the most interesting aspect of the shoe, which is the Jordan around the lace outlets right here. This actually, from my understanding, Tinker Hatfield, who designed this shoe back in 1995, uh, originally wanted to have Jordan running around this, but they scrapped the idea. And I think there was a limited amount of pairs that came out that, get, that gave this. But for the 25th anniversary, it looks like they brought it back. And I, I got to say, uh, I absolutely love it. I don't know how many people have said this, but this does feel like a plastic Jordan around here, which you would, you know, you'd kind of expect that. Uh, but you do have it, you know, J-R-D-E-N. It's, it's, it's kind of like the Reebok questions where they have the Reebok going down the side. Your, your upper right here is that ballistic mesh material, just like on all of your Jordan 11s. So nothing's changed there. You have your standard rope laces in. Now a nice touch on these is that your Jumpman, your Jumpman Jordan that's spelled this way across the shoe, uh, is on a, it's a leather patch on these. So that's super nice as well. Typically this is a mesh patch going across here, but you do have a leather patch on these. Getting around to, to, to your back of your shoe right here, you do have a nice, I would say, okay, it's, it's a, you know, decent leather. Uh, it, yeah, yeah, it's a good leather. Um, you do have a, a, a silver, a chrome Jumpman kind of sticks out of the shoe. Typically, this is embroidered into the shoe, but for the 25th anniversary, you do have chrome. And on the back, you have the chrome 2-3, which looks really good. So all around, the shoe looks great. I'm going to take a look on the inside, and I don't know if we can see all the way down in there or not. Probably are not going to be, you're not going to be able to see in there, but I will tell you the inside of the shoe has a silver jump man and actually has 25 so you have your 23 on the back, but on the inside, on your sole, on your insole, you have a 25, which represents the 25th anniversary of the shoe. Another thing to look at, too, is on your lateral side, you have Jordan coming down this way, but on your medial, you have Jordan coming up this way. So they kind of switch it around for which side of the shoe you're looking at. But overall, all in all, a beautiful shoe. Jordan knocked it out of the park again for their Christmas, uh, you know, their Christmas anniversary uh, 11s that they come out with every year. I'm thankful to have my friend to let me unbox these and, and show these to you guys uh, because I think they're a great shoe. I think just like all your other Jordan 11s that come out around the holidays, you definitely want to get these from sneakers or Nike or whoever you can get them from. And if you're looking to resale, stock up on them because the Bread 11s are going for 400 to 500 bucks right now. These will do the same thing, if not more, because these are the 25th anniversary and because of the special boxing and paper that you have inside as well. All of that stuff comes into play when you're a collector for Jordans. All in all, I would probably rate these a 9 out of 10. Uh, I don't. The, the only thing that I can think of that keeps it from being a 10 out of 10 is that I would worry if you're going to wear these, which most people are if they get them, you, know, you may get a little bit of dirtiness around this midsole because it is this milky white. Uh, missile rather than being black or red so this may get a little dirty fast but nothing that some rejuvenator or something like that can't clean up so yeah all in all great shoe nine out of ten if you're going on if you're going for them on, on nike sneakers app good luck to you guys and if i haven't told you yet happy thanksgiving happy holidays and i hope you guys have a great christmas once again top hit kick signing out y'all have a great day